Well, hey guys, it is Mandy with Sweetly Home, and today I want to share with you my monthly favorites. Okay, so I want to start off by talking about some makeup favorites. So, I have fallen in love with the Wet n Wild brand. Yes, Wet n Wild, like, if you are kind of around my age and you were in high school in the 90s, Wet n Wild was, you know, that cheapy brand that was like 93 cents and whoever would have thought they would have anything quality. Their nail polish was always exceptional though and is still hands down my favorite nail polish of all time. Recently rediscovered it. I watch a few beauty people here on YouTube and they have just kind of raved about Wet n Wild. So I ended up getting a few products when I was home in Pennsylvania and the first is blushes. <laughs> These blushes are so beautiful. So the first one I have is pearlescent pink and it is kind of this apricot shade it's got a really tiny tiny bit of shimmer in it and it's just beautiful I I'm loving it um and actually I'm wearing it on my cheeks today <laughs> and then the next color is apricot in the middle So this color is kind of like a bronze shade, and I I do like, um, I put on some darker bronzer to kind of on um, my cheeks, but then I like to add this kind of on top of it to sort of just blend the color in a little bit more and add like a bit of a shimmery depth <laughs> to my cheeks. I mean, hello. I'm using like $2 blushes. Like, um... I'm not a beauty guru by any means, but I'm. these colors are just absolutely beautiful, and I one of my favorite beauty products is actually blush, so I'm excited to have found these at a really affordable price, and seriously, they're, they're like less than $2. Okay, and the last one is Fantastic Plastic Pink. And again, this one has just a bit of shimmer in it as well. I actually really like to have a bit of shimmer on my cheeks. I think it's pretty. Um, I like to have that shimmeriness. So I don't mind that. Some people really like a more matte blush, but give me all the shimmer. Okay, next from Wet n Wild, the other thing that I'm absolutely loving is their primer. Now this was something that I just randomly picked up when I was at the grocery store yesterday and I gotta tell you, it wasn't yesterday, it was two days ago. I've worn it now for two days in a row and I will probably never use anything different. I had saved up my, well I didn't really save up my money, I planned to save my money to buy some Smashbox um, primer water. I had gotten a sample of it before and I loved it. I loved it. It held my makeup so great all day. I have very oily skin. I have um, really problematic skin. It's not great skin. And I need like full coverage foundation to hide all the garbage that's going on under my makeup. And I need a primer that's going to last. Um, like I said, I have oily skin. So within a few hours, my oil can start to break through my makeup and who wants that? So I actually had been using Nivea Shave Balm. Um, it was something that went around to the beauty community here on YouTube, like, I don't know, last year or something. And I tried it and it really works. And so I was using that as a primer and seriously, it would hold my makeup all day long. I really loved it. However, I decided to try an actual primer and Last night, I took my makeup off at midnight and it looked like I had just applied it like an hour before. I was stunned like how amazing and flawless my makeup looked at midnight and I put it on in the morning time. It is just thebalm.com and again, just a few dollars. And the last Wet n Wild product that I'm loving is what is on my lips right now, and that is their Mega Slicks Lip Gloss in Strawberry Ice. So I often get asked what color of lip gloss that I'm wearing in during my videos, and I've got to tell you that I never spend any type of money on lip gloss. I get really cheap things that are a pretty color. I mean, it's like pulling teeth for me to even spend like $7.99 on a lip gloss. Like, ugh, that's a lot of money for me. But this was just like $2 and I love the color. It reminds me of my other favorite lip gloss, which is 
the Milani um, Pink Lady lip gloss. I love the Milani lip gloss, period. Pink Lady is one of my favorite colors. Um, but it just feels really good on your lips. Like, you know that you have something there. It's a little sticky. I don't mind sticky. Sticky to me means, like, I've got something there. Um, I don't know. I just think the color is amazing and... I don't know. I'm a big fan. There were a couple Wet n Wild products that I did pick up that didn't quite make my favorites. I'm still kind of playing around with them to see what, how I feel about them, but Wet n Wild overall, that brand is, is killing it. So next thing that I'm really loving is this book. It's called Pressing Pause, um, 100 Quiet Moments for Moms to Meet with Jesus by Karen Eman and Ruth Schwenk. Karen Eman is a Proverbs 31 speaker, and Ruth Schwenk has several different blogs, um, uh, and she's also the author of the book Living Well, Spending Less. She has a planner, all kinds of stuff. She has a big presence um, in the blogging world. But they came together and wrote this book, and it's really, really nice. Um, I got it, I think it was for Christmas for my mother-in-law. Or no, it was for my birthday. Um, but anyways, it's just like short devotions um, with a few questions that you can answer. And they're designed for moms who are in the thick of it, who are um, just needing a quiet moment. And I have found so very much that at different points, I just need to like stop and take a moment take a moment with Jesus and I need to hear some perspective from other moms and this book is just really wonderful. There have been some really thought-provoking devotions in here and things that have really just caused me to stop and think and pray over certain things. Um, I don't know, it's been quite challenging. I also did want to tell you that I shared a photo of this book on Instagram I don't know, a few weeks ago, and I was actually contacted um, by a representative for Karen Eman and Ruth Schwenk. They are doing um, 30, 30 Days for Moms um, walking through this book, and it's going to be on Facebook, and so they were looking for photos to go along with the accompanying days, and they asked to use my photo, and I said, absolutely. So I'll kind of have more details in the description box about when that kicks off. I think it's May 31st. Um, but I will have all of those details in the description box if you want to follow along. I think it's on Facebook. Um, and just have a quiet moment for mom during your day. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of home decor favorites. So first is this pillow. It's big. I can't even get it in the screen. Um, but the pillow itself is actually from Ikea. It's a 19 by 19 inch pillow form and they're designed to fit 20 by 20 inch covers. <laughs> and the pillow form itself is just like a polyester type um, pillow form, but it was less than $5, and that's Canadian. And I am I know that the USA IKEA has pillow forms. Their products are always a bit cheaper, so I'm not sure what the price is, but I'm guessing it's probably around $4. And $4 for a 19 inch pillow is amazing. The cover also came from Ikea, and this is like a white, heavy canvas duck fabric um, cover. It's got a bit of a seam here to give it just a teeny tiny bit of detailing, but the cover was also $5. So I've got myself a whole nice big pillow for $10, and I love that it's white because it can go with anything, but I could also personalize this if I wanted. I could use some iron-on um, vinyl to make like a quote on it. I could paint it. I could do whatever I wanted to do with it as far as embellishment. My Simplicity just loves the plain white. We ended up getting three of these. So this one is actually on my entrance um, bench. And then the other two are in the living room. But I'm so pleased this punch with them. And even though it's a white fabric, you can easily bleach this um, if you get, you know, something on it. And even if you do, it was $5, you can easily just buy another one. I love that, having kids. We eat in the living room. I do my makeup in the living room. We live life. Um, so I don't want things that are like really frou-frou. So this sort of thing fits my budget and it fits my lifestyle really well. So another thing that I'm really loving is this wreath. 
So this wreath is called a lemon wreath and it is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So for my birthday, which was in February, Shane let me order some things from Hobby Lobby for my birthday. And one of these things, one of the things I ordered was this wreath. Um, I, I wanted to order, I wanted to order this wreath. However, when I went to order it, it was 50% off and of course they sold out online and I was so bummed. Um, and my friend Robin from um, Robin's Happy Home, she actually bought the wreath. She hauled it. She, she um, I could see it in vlogs and it just looks so cute and so pretty. So when we were home at Hobby Lobby, when we were home at Hobby Lobby, when we were home and went to Hobby Lobby, I went to see if they had it. It was on sale and it was the last one left. So I scooped it up and I was so, so happy. I love it. It's kind of wild and fun looking. It is on a grapevine um, backing and it was originally $20, but again, it was 50% off. So I got it for 10. Another home find that I really am loving is this glass jar and this is from the Dollar Tree. I think it looks so very vintage. Um, I'm not sure what I want to put in it yet. Um, flowers or I would really like to put my makeup brushes in it but I kind of travel around my house with my makeup because I don't do it in the bathroom so having my makeup brushes and something like this isn't really gonna work but um, I think it's just so beautiful um, if you do candles like a candle would be pretty in here I don't know what I'm going to put in mine but I love it I just think it's so beautiful I found mine near the faux flowers so they were on the bottom shelf I I don't know I was just so happy to find it I kind of want a couple more but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet so it doesn't make sense to buy more but I thought it was really pretty okay so lastly I want to tell you about the media stuff that I've been loving and the media stuff that I've been loving is a little show by the name of Alaska the Final Frontier. So basically if you know the singer Jewel, if you've never heard about this show before, the singer Jewel grew up on a homestead in Alaska and um, this show chronicles her dad, um, her cousins, her uncle, and talks about their homesteading life in Alaska, and it is like hardcore. Um, so Jules' grandfather came over from Switzerland um, 70 years ago and made it across. He trekked all the way across through Alaska, um, founded their homestead. Like the whole story is super duper crazy. Like he was the first recorded person to walk across this particular part of Alaska. He walked with like a ladder across his back to be able to like get where he needed to go. It was like super duper crazy. Um, and so he established a homestead there. He brought over um, his soon to be wife and they had eight kids and eight kids started, you know, grew up in this environment and most of them are homesteading still. And um, Jewel, um, you know, became like a famous singer and blah, blah, blah. And anyways, the show chronicles their homesteading life and it's amazing. Like their homesteading life is like, you know, during like the three or four months of summer, they're growing all of the garden food that they need to sustain them through like eight months of winter. They are um, driving cattle like 30 miles to like a different part of Alaska so that they can feed. They're like fending off like bears and, um, catching wild salmon and just everything like it's amazing and I think I shared with you in my last favorites video how I've been watching like a lot of homesteading videos and channels and so that just kind of totally feeds into my ha, all the more um and I grew up loving Jewel like I was obsessed with Jewel obsessed I bought like all her books all her music, obsessed. Not so much obsessed anymore, like, at all, but, um, I don't know. The show is just super, super fun. Okay, so I wanted to give a channel shout out. This is the new channel that I'm loving, and that is Everyday Blessings with Julie. My sister started a channel, and I am loving it. I think part of it is I'm loving seeing, like, my sister having a channel, and I love seeing, like, my nieces and nephews 
and I love taking a peek at her life because I'm so far away I can't actually like go over to her house and see how she's doing things but secondly her channel is just really good um, she's got like really good content over there and I'm really really enjoying it Today she uploaded um, a grocery haul from Aldi's and Sam's Club and with a two, it was a two week grocery haul um, and she shared her menu plan. She's got uh, this amazing video that I'm so inspired by, but it's everything that she keeps in her car for like the summer and um, they're really busy people. And so she's like shared everything that she has and she's so prepared, it's crazy. She's got like yard sale hauls, she's got vlogs, she's a farmer's wife. Um, she's got uh, two little boys and a girl, my niece and nephews. <laughs> um, she has got um, just this fun, bubbly personality, and I don't know, I'm really loving her channel. So I will leave a link to that down below. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you in my next video. Leave me your favorites down below because I love watching favorites to get an idea of what other mamas and women are doing and loving in their life because you know what? having some tried and true and road tested things and products. It's a good thing. So I will see you guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye.